The National Park Service needs your help finding a vandal who struck an historic site at a New Mexico National Park. The damage done at Bandelier earlier this summer is said to be beyond repair. News 13's Jackie Kent explains. Vandalism at national monuments, unfortunately, is nothing new, but shocking all the same. Just knocking over the rock for the sole purpose of being vandals just, you know, just makes me upset. In 2016, video went viral of three people toppling a popular sandstone pedestal at Oregon's Cape Kiwanda State Park. Now, it's happened right here in our own backyard. Officials at Bandelier National Monument in Los Alamos are in disbelief at the damage done to an archaeological site called Dutch's Castle. We have to divert staff to uh, make repairs, to document the damage, uh, not to mention law enforcement has to engage and initiate an investigation. Park Superintendent Jason Lott says he can't give out specifics about the vandalism or even show pictures of the damage. That's because they're offering a $10,000 reward and want legitimate tips. We do not see this. It's very seldom that we actually have individuals coming into the park um, and do this type of damage. It's not the first time New Mexico's national monuments have been targeted by vandals. In 2015, the petroglyphs on Albuquerque's west side were tagged with graffiti, plus $75,000 in cleanup costs because tires and trash were dumped across the park. No one was ever caught. And just last summer, National Park officials say two teens vandalized the headquarters of Salinas Pueblo Missions in Mountaineer, damaging a statue and throwing cigarette butts and trash into the fountain. Their punishment was to go back out there and clean it all up. Jackie Kent, KRQE News 13. We asked Bandelier Park officials if they had surveillance video, but they said they would not reveal what evidence they have at this point. This is the second time the site has been vandalized in the last two years.